Hey everybody, this is Matt Graney with Saligo. I lead product management here and I wanted to take a moment to share with you some work we've been doing to add database support to Integrator I.O. First off, we have three different databases supported, which you can see from the connections menus. So if I just try to create an export here, you'll see that we have now support for Microsoft SQL, MySQL, and Postgres. So these are databases that need to be accessible from the cloud. So typically, they'll be running like in Amazon Web Services, or they'll be running on the Google Cloud Platform. Uh, but provided Integrator I.O. can reach them, you should be able to integrate them into your flows. So let's see how that can be done. And let me just uh, take you to an example I've already built. This one's with Postgres running on Amazon. So we can take a quick look at the connection. Uh, this is a database that I called Northwind. Uh, you can see now we've got a special type called RDBMS. And when I go in here, I, uh, you can see the, the host name, which is an Amazon host name, and so on. The port, if we needed SSL, there's additional information we need to provide, but this one is, is basically open. So there's my connection. And now if I go to the integration flows, I have two flows. I'll, I'll look at the export first. So this is going to take information from my database and get it into an FTP site. So as you probably know, when you go about creating an export, you can immediately see sample data. So here in my query, I'm using just plain old SQL, select star from customers, and I can see uh, the first row of information that I will get back from that query. Notice in this case, the country is Germany. Just to show you that this is real, we could say where country equals Mexico, for example and now my sample data has changed. Okay, so we've got uh, a customer from Mexico. Uh, of course, you can do joins and so on, but I won't get into that now, but it's basically regular SQL. You need to understand your database schema. Uh, and then on the next screen, of course, this is just going to uh, use plain old FTP and a CSV file. And then finally, in the mapping, of course, we have all the different fields. So these are all the fields that I selected. Instead of doing select star, I could have done, you know, select address, comma, city uh, from the table and, and limited it that way. So really, you should be able to use any SQL. So that's when you're getting data out of a database. If I go back to my flows, I can also go the other way. In this case, I'm going to take company information from an FTP site. And here's some sample data that I had in a CSV file. So in this case, I'm going to add a Danish uh, customer. And then I can go ahead and say, well, what am I going to do? In this case, I'm going to do an import into Postgres. I'm simply going to do an insert. And then on this phase in the mapping, when I go to launch the insert query, uh, we've actually gone ahead and built a little SQL query builder. So you can see the sample data that I put in before, country is Denmark, uh, some defaults in case I don't supply values. It can default in this case just to a blank. And then I can see the preview. So here I'm saying, you know, insert into customers the various fields, and here are the values. So we have a, a document that explains how this is done in our compass guide uh, if you're interested. Uh, but you can then see this is valid SQL. Uh, and we'll show you an example, given this sample data, of exactly the command that's going to be run. So that's it. Pretty simple to use. A great new way of getting data in and out. We often hear of examples where a customer might want to take a, uh, let's say, a NetSuite safe search and dump the results into a database for further processing. That's a great use case, or alternatively, an existing data source and needing to get that information from the database and into somewhere else. So that's all I had for you. Uh, happy to have you as a customer, of course, and, and please give us feedback as you begin to use this capability, and we look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thank you.